Tips. Last week, we told you about a cat and camel that had been shot by an arrow. Well, the person who did it has not been caught yet, but tonight we have the chance to talk to the cat's owner and the neighbor she calls her cat's angel. It's been a long week for Lorna Bryant. A week ago yesterday, she let her cat out and he didn't come back. I waited all night long, waited for him. I thought something happened, you know, he just came home right away. The next morning, she found O'Reilly motionless, leaning up against her house. But I was ready to pick him up. He was like, whining and then that's when I see it realized it was an arrow. That's right. Someone had shot her cat with an arrow from a crossbow. She knew better than to try to pull it out herself, so she ran to her neighbor for help. I was about ready to faint in myself. I was like, oh my God, my cat, my cat, you know. That cat would have died if they tried to remove that thing. That it was a very thick bolt. So they had to, it, we had to just take immediate action. Edward Garcia and his mom rushed the cat to the vet. To this day, he's amazed the cat survived. That thing was supposed to take down full grown deers. Since then, Lorna's been nursing him back to health. Dipping my finger to the water and then drop it to his mouth. She says she has a newfound bond with the animal, a shared experience, so to speak. It brings me back the memories of like, Deja vu all over again when I was attacked by a man dressed up like a woman in 1987. And then it makes me feel like him, you know. Both of them fighters. He fought for his life, otherwise he wouldn't be here. Just like me, I fought for my life at the same way, you know. 